In today's video, we're opening the new Yu-Gi-Oh! product, Speed Duel Duelist of Shadows. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! product video. This has the Speed Duel GX Duelist of Shadows box. So first of all, I don't know a lot about this set. I just want to say I'm so happy that they shrunk these because they used to be like this long. They were massive. This is much better. Like you just squeeze it into a much smaller box that actually fits and not a bunch of extra room. I like it. But before we continue opening, I'll be giving away one of these, I guess you call them mini boxes. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about Speed Duel in general and this Speed Duel product. Seems like they don't do a lot of Speed Duel releases, but they are usually pretty cool. Yo, I'm back. But Ruxin, where are you back from? If you guys don't know, I streamed on Whatnot back in 2021 and I've made my return to Whatnot. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is a streaming platform where you can sell stuff live. And if you're a viewer on Whatnot, you can show up to the live stream, watch the stuff get open, watch stuff get sold. It's really fun to see the auction prices and people going back and forth trying to get different stuff. And you might think, I don't really want to spend any money right now. Well, that's where I come in. Use my link down below and you'll get $15 for free when you sign up for Whatnot. It doesn't have to be on my stream. It could be on Team Samurai stream. It could be on Simply Unlucky stream. It can be completely unrelated to Yu-Gi-Oh because this isn't just a TCG platform. There's also a lot of other cool stuff like shoes and other collectibles like that that are being sold on Whatnot. And I will be streaming live Thursday, March 30th at 5 p.m. Central. We'll be selling stuff like epic Yu-Gi-Oh singles and old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And I will be giving away over $500 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this stream. So you guys want to make sure you're there. And some of these giveaways will not require a purchase at all. You can simply be viewing the stream and win. And don't forget to use that link down below to get that $15 off when you come to the stream so you can save yourself some money. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Let's hop into this. Normally they do have like the secret rare reprints in here. So I don't know what the secret rares are in this one, if they even did those. Uh, secret rares of all three secret, secret beasts. That's, I mean, that's pretty awesome. So uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. And of course, in this video, we have more than just one, this one box. We'll be opening a bunch of these to see. Well, assuming there's different secret rares, I guess we're going to find out. If there's not, then I guess there's no reason to open too many more of them. But okay, here we go. So first of all, we have the pack. So I guess you always get the three sacred beasts, maybe. We'll come back to that because that's the really exciting part. Then the rest of these look like we have four decks, which I don't remember. Do we have more than four last time or was it like, or was it four? It might've been eight or something. I don't really don't remember. And then you even get like four mats because I guess they're expecting like if you're doing like a mini house tournament or something like Team APS usually does on these things, then you need four different mats. So we got those. All right, I'm going to open these up real quick and then we'll get back to like what's actually in the decks because we don't, you know, this stuff's impossible to open. We don't need to show me struggling, okay? All right, the first deck we have has all the skills because it's basically dueling. So you have skill cards. So they give you like an extra effect or whatever, or an extra basically lets a lot of decks that are not playable become playable, which is what I like about Speed Duel and Duel Links. Uh, doesn't really work with Master Duel because that's just straight up regular decks. There's no like effects like this. So maybe they'll add, I don't know. They probably won't add Speed Duel to Master Duel because then they cut off their own game, Duel Links. That wouldn't really make any sense. So, oh wow, this is just all the different cards. Probably all the skills you can get here. Then we got Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. Okay, Dark Scorpions. We got Pharaoh Servant, the old school booster box in there. We got the Pharaoh Protector. So it looks like an old school Pharaoh deck, which is pretty cool. Gaga Gigo. All right, this is pretty interesting. Zero. It's so interesting to see like, wait, Rainbow Overlord of Dark World. Okay, so Dark Worlds are in here now to see like what they add into Speed Duel because like some stuff is like really old, but it's like really good in Speed Duel somehow. Oh, Elements of Shining Flare Wingman. We didn't have this. I thought we already had these from the other GX boxes, but I guess not. Terra King, Salmon, Arm Dragon, Cyber Dragon. That's pretty big. Vampiric, Koala, Allure of Darkness. Good card. Book of Moon, Counter Cleaner, Flash the Forbidden Spell. Chaos Trap Hole, okay, that's a pretty good card. Nightmare Wheel and Zoma. Zoma was already in Duel Links. I know a lot of these already were, but Zoma was pretty big for a while. All right, next up we have another deck with the Helios, the Golden Homunculus. I remember these guys had like the special shiny print laminated foil, I believe, if you uh, ask E3 Yu-Gi-Oh. We have Disc Blade Raider. We have the DD Survivor, DD Scout Plane, the different dimension stuff. Oh no, Banisher of the Radiance, DD Crow. Oh, it's getting crazy here. We got Tribe Shocking Virus, Galaxy Cyclone. There's just... Man, Speed Duel's getting a lot of good cards. Macro Cosmos as well. I don't know if that was already in there or not, but that's pretty big. D-Boys, a lot of old school stuff, but there's a lot of good stuff coming into this game. It's getting pretty crazy at this point. This is such a weird card. This is the one, yeah, you gain 3,000 life points, but if it leaves the field, you lose 3,000 life points. So you really gain like zero, but you kind of gain some. It's very weird. Final attack orders. The Cloudian deck, interesting. Cloudian deck in there. If you're interested in playing that at your speed duel deck let me know in the, in the comments do you guys actually play speed duel i don't know a lot of people that do play it but like the people that play it really like it and i played it at my very first event in charlotte last year and it was extremely fun 
fun. Like, I mean, I, I played Duel Links, so it's similar, but it was a lot of fun there. Where I opened this, I thought. All right, then we got some evil heroes going, which makes sense because this is the Duelist of Shadows from GX. So we got to have some some sketchy heroes. Then we got the regular old heroes. Infernal Prodigy got a reprint in here. That's actually probably a good thing for that in like the real version. Dark Fusion's in here. All of these, by the way, if you're playing Super Poly, that's that's good for Super Poly. These can be played in regular duels and speed duel, but regular cards cannot be played in speed duel. So that's how it works. So all these cards, even though they say speed duel right there, you can still use them in like a regular duel and like, uh, you know, the current meta and stuff like that. Because obviously all these cards are already legal. They're just basically reusing cards from back then and making their own format. All right, last deck before we get into the secret rares, we're going to be opening a bunch of those secret rares for fun to see if we can get all the secret rare cards in the set. Oh, this looks like a fun one. Goblin Zombie Play. Big Wolf, Zombina, Ryu Koki, Call of the Mummy. Yeah, this looks like my kind of speed duel deck. I'm liking this. The Vampires and then Amazonists. Ooh, Amazonists are really good, but they're very annoying to play against. They were very good in Duel Links for a while. This is basically the full Duel Links deck right here. So that's pretty tough. And then you got the Skull Archfiend of Lightning. Okay. I mean, I don't think Archfiends have ever been good in really anything. So I could be wrong about that. I could be speaking out of turn. Battle Scar, but let me know. Maybe they have been good at some point, but I don't think in Duel Links or Speed Duel. Could be wrong though. All right, now it's time for the Secret Rares. Let's see what you get in these Secret Rares. So I think you get the Sacred Beast every time. And then after that, it's kind of random. So, because normally they, there is a randomized feature to this. So I don't know how many are random. Let's check. We have Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. First of all, looks really good. The Speed Duel Secret Rares always look awesome. That's a good one. Oh, we got a Ruxin special right past the Haman. Sorry, Haman. A lot of times you can't see these very well because like, you know, it's behind a lot of the artwork, but they actually put it over the artwork, which is cool on the wings. And then the Raviel, very cool. Then we have an Amazonist Swordswoman. Speaking of Amazonist, this is a nice card for that deck. A DD Crow Secret Rare print. That's nice. So we have one of these in, I was going to say Legendary Collection Kaiba, but that's actually an Ultra. We might not have that. It might be the first print. Fog King, this is an Ultimate Rare, but it can also be used in Edison, which is cool. Evil Hero Malicious Fiend might be playable in this. And then Helios, the Primordial Sun. This is another one that has Laminated Foil. All right, so I have 10 more of these. We're going to open up all the Secret Rare packs to see what we get inside. Hopefully we can get all the Secret Rares that you could possibly pull. That'd be pretty fun. I'm going to open these up real quick so you don't have to watch that part. All right, we we have 11 or 10 actually we already opened one we're gonna get the sacred beast a lot we know that but we are trying to pull all the other cards in this set so first of all we have uriah lord of searing flames very cool we have the haman lord of striking thunder raviel lord of phantasms then we have a dark fusion so this come, came as a common in there but there's also a secret upgrade i feel like they do that a lot they give you the card and then they give you a secret upgrade which is actually pretty cool you can get the hollow version or the regular dd crow again very cool Amazonist Queen for those Amazonist decks. So this is just filling out those really good cards. Macrocosmos is a secret rare. That's actually, these are good prints for the TCG actually. And then an ill blood for zombie decks. Wow, these are really cool secret rare choices. I feel like Speed Duel's got a lot of cool decks coming to it. I'm gonna try to see if we've pulled all of them. I think last year was like 16. I could probably check and see what it says to how many there are, like different secret rares besides the three beasts. We have the three beasts, of course. Then we have an Arm Dragon level 10 iffy but it's in speed duel so maybe it's decent vampire genesis too bad we don't have our vampire genesis mat anymore well we do still have it but i'm not using it uh elements of hero shining flare wingman beautiful secret rare brand i mean look if you can't afford the ultimate rare for 1500 bucks just buy this for like two bucks it's great we have the aqua chorus wow that's a weird secret rare uh maybe it's good if there are monsters with the same name on the field those monsters gain 500 attack defense maybe that's good in speed duel who knows and then dark fusion again okay oh here's some background stuff that i probably should have said earlier we have eight different characters and they all have different decks so there's evil hero Red Eyes, Vampire, Amazonist, Archfiend, Macrocosmos deck, Sacred Beast, and Cloudian. And then we have the skills for them. So there was eight different decks in there. So it was, I knew it was eight. That's what I thought it was. There was just four packages because they're so small, you could fit two in there. Okay, so what you get is three Sacred Beasts. Then you get five Secret Rare upgrades from a set of 21. So there's 21 different ones. I don't know if that includes these. So there could be 18 plus three. I'm guessing that's what it is because 21 is a weird number. And then 20 skill cards. Okay, that makes sense. We probably should have checked that before we opened these. All right, back to it. Let's figure it out. So so it looks like there's 18 cards that we need. I guess we could uh, see if we're going to get all of them. So first of all, we have these three. Then we have a Vampire Genesis again. We definitely have gotten that. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master is probably actually pretty crazy in Speed Duel. So that's a good card. A Super Poly. Wow. That's unfortunate that there's a reprint here because like Raw Yellow Mega Pack already had one. Legendary Collection GX. So that's definitely going to hurt those values. Uh, but I guess that makes it easier to get than I see great. And also the Speed Duel Secret just hit. So maybe it is not terrible. Arm Dragon level 10. Cool. All right, next one. Let's see what we can get. Man, these Secret Rares just look so good, man. They do such a good job with these. I don't know why the regular Secrets don't look this good. Like, 
they just have like it's almost like a wetness i don't know i don't know if you know what i mean it's like so reflective it's like almost like it's wet if you know what i'm saying uh maybe i'm sounding crazier but i feel like it almost looks like you're looking into like a pool because this thing reflects so much it looks so good jujitsu master we got dark fusion okay lore of darkness whoa that might not have a secret rare till now i think it was ultras and supers and ulti and that was it so wow that's a big that's a big upgrade very nice malicious fiend also really cool and then a Fog King. Okay, so uh, Allure of Darkness, that is a nice hit. All right, still a lot of reflective cardboard left. Let's see what we can get. Will we be able to get all the cards? I think we have most of them already. Golden Homunculus as a secret rare. Okay, we got the uh, level 10. Vampire Hunter, okay, wait. I just looked and I think we had 17. A Skull Arch Fiend of Lightning and the primordial sun so that was three different ones so i'm pretty sure there is actually 21 besides the sacred beast i don't remember if we'd pulled the homunculus so there's i think another one that we haven't pulled still so that's pretty cool we're getting uh getting a lot of different ones here we've got the uriah haman raviel aqua course we've definitely gotten that one we have the amazon swordswoman very cool skull archfiend of lightning allure of darkness and cyber dragon what they got another cyber dragon secret print legendary jet collection gx and raw yellow mega pack are getting killed all their cards are getting reprinted in the same rarity that's pretty interesting that they're choosing to reprint those are they like weren't running out of reprints i don't know it's kind of weird that they're doing them all i mean i guess secret rare a lot of cards have a secret rare print we have amon raviel golden homunculus again cyber dragon again let's just fiend dd crow and skull arch fiend of lightning those are beautiful three more packs let's see if there's anything we missed i feel like maybe we've gotten them all but i could have missed one potentially or miscounted these are the kind of packs that like you try to get them off your hand and they just stick it's yeah i don't know i don't know how to describe this but if you guys have ever opened like one of these little foil packages, they're very frustrating. They're just, you're, you're shaking your hand all the place, won't come off. Okay, we got Super Poly, very nice. Vampire Hunter, I don't even know this card. Start a damage deficit, battles a dark monster, destroy that monster. So it's like Ally of Justice Cataster, uh, Cyber Dragon. Well, that's a non-dark monster. And then DD Crow, very cool. And then two more packs. Two more packs for the secret rares. Five secret rares per box is not bad, or extra secret rares. We have these three. No, I shouldn't say extra secret because that's an actual rarity, not the rarity, just another secret rare. Uh, Golden Monculus, the Allure, Macrocosmos, Swordswoman, and Dark Fusion. I feel like they kind of crushed it with a lot of these upgrades. And Dark Fusion was actually one that was like a three and a half dollar card in Ultra Rare out of Legendary Collection GX. So probably a good one to get a secret rare. Final pack of the Speed Duel. Let me know what you think about Speed Duel in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content and the new stuff. I always love opening the new stuff, even at Speed Duel. And I don't play a whole lot of Speed Duel, but I like to see these secret rare upgrades. They look beautiful. Vampire Hunters added again. Red Eyes Darkness. See, there was one we didn't pull. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. So this and Vampire Genesis are now secret rares. The Amazon Swordswoman and Arm Dragon level 10. All right, so we ended off with a card that we did not have. So we ended up pulling all of them though, which is nice, I think, unless I missed one. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.